From the West Bend Soccer Complex in West Bend, Wisconsin, it is the 2019 edition of Girls High School Soccer on West Bend Community TV. Good evening, everyone. As we're getting ready to start here, our first broadcast of the 2019 season is the West Bend West Spartans against North Shore Conference rival Whitefish Bay. And it's a bit of a uphill battle here for the Spartans to start. Spartans still looking for a loose first win. They have five losses and two ties on the season so far. As we are set to go here, there is going to be the kick off as the Spartans receive it. Up front, they're going to put Kelsey Wahan Waters, the senior, alongside Faith Pressinger, wearing number 12, who set off the kickoff here as the Spartans force to play it back into their own defensive third. The midfielders, Ellie Moira, Emily Fate, and Caleb Beekler scored the first goal for the team this season in the 2 1 loss against Homestead as the, as the Spartans try to push it into the offensive third. Getting a touch there was Kelsey Waters, aforementioned. Trying to keep it live is Julia Ramstack. Playing as the defensive midfielder. The defenders are Madeline Damcut, the sophomore, getting some a start here as the Spartans off to the races, and the first shot is going to be deflected away. It is headed toward the side. And oh, oh my goodness, look at that kick. Then one Katie Cavanaugh puts it on, and just like that, it's one nothing. Whitefish Bay, on the other hand, recycling several players from their basketball team, which made it to state, are five wins, no losses, and two ties on the season. So they are a team that is stacked. They have several sophomores in the lineup. Our goalkeeper, Elena DeLongchamps, one of the all-conference players on the team, is the Spartans have some familiar names returning. As I mentioned, Faith Pressinger and Caleb Beekler. Beekler, the junior. Tag up the middle. Molly Kuyper sends it to the wing. And if Sophia Blifford was going to make a move, we have an offside call. It's like Blifford was a little too far ahead. Robert Franceschi and Maggie Stryker are the front three for Whitefish Bay. Centering pass right toward the middle. Battle for the position as Franceschi comes away with it. Nice back pedal move, centering pass. Slowing it down is Emma Knudsen trying to get it out. And now break starting, Caleb Beekler bring it to the outside, sends it across the midfield. Cut off by Lauren Davis. Leverett leaves it back in the midfield, and now Whitefish Bay on the restart. Spartans managed to slow it down. Now Liz Murphy wearing the captain's stripe on her left arm, backed it up. And now here come the Blue Dukes from the right side. They have some numbers, centering pass sent to the box. It's behind the main attacker. It's kept in the zone coming forward, Liz Murphy with it. Murphy rounding, breaks one defender, still with it, tries to center. It's kicked back out of the box and the Spartans managed to clear. Pressinger has to play it back. The Spartans having some trouble piercing that middle third. Touch going there, Lindsey Keller. Pressinger kicks it back, threads the needle, finds Beekler. Beekler crosses it. Just out of reach of Keller toward the sideline and it's going to roll out of bounds and it will be a throw in for Whitefish Bay. Spartans coming off a 4-0 loss to Franklin. Oh 
A chance on the other side here as Kelsey Waters tried to center it. It's cut off by Molly Kuiper. Another good look down the center, but a good back line move there as Emerson McKinney cut it off. But fighting for space there, Ellie Myra had her kick deflected. Clear attempt now on as Anna Franceschi is going to pursue it. She centers it to the middle, and here come the Blue Dukes. Coming up to get it, Ellie Meyer. Sends it in, looking forward for Ramstack. Julia Ramstack trying to get there, tries to center it, but it's kicked out, so it'll be a goal kick coming up here. And they're actually going to signal it's a corner. It was deflected, according to the referee. So Kayla Beekler will take it. The Longshamps played on the basketball team, the Whitefish Bay basketball team, who went to the state tournament earlier this year. As here comes the, the kick. Waiting on it, and here it is. The spinner attempting the head was Meyer, but it went past her. Blue Dukes managed to get it out of the box. Knudsen sends it back toward. Chance on the other side, Beekler. And a save made by the Longchamps. Good look there by the Spartans. Need a few more looks like that, even up here. They're trailing one nothing, six and a half in. Put some good pressure up front here, but Whitefish Base over using its speed, and there they go again. Maybe Steiner? Trying to fight for space, centers it! And she had no one in front. Madeline Damcott providing some space, and it's headed out by Knutson. Spartans now trying to reversal, to tackle away from Ramstack. Trying to keep the issue going is Romney Pavlenik getting her first touch, and here's the send. She hits in front, and it's miffed. Miffed as Bell Pats are wound up. Another try here on the front, and it's all the way across the front of the goal through the box. As far as, of course, facing 18, it likes to score quite a bit in Whitefish Bay so far. Besides that early goal, they've been keeping it so neutral, but Whitefish Bay keeping the pressure up. Longchamp sends it, and it's off the bounds, picked in by the sophomore goalkeeper, Lily Henschel. Kick lands at midfield, and here's a chance up front for Kelsey Waters. The senior has it. He's got a round one defender, and she bumps into that defender. Lauren Davis sends it out of bounds, but it'll be a throw in for the Spartans. Knutson winds and throws. Looking for the top of the box, missed the top of Moira's head. And now the clear time on for Whitefish Bay. They can get it to the midfield. Getting there is Starker. Good work there by the midfield, especially particularly Knutson. Now fighting for space here is Molly Kuiper. Trying to outrun Moira. Deflected pass, played to the outside, kept in play by Starker. Here comes Starker, around the corner. Back kicks it to Blifford in the center. Blifford has beats the defenders, kicks to the right and scores the goal. Sophia Blifford, number two, makes it two to nothing. And some adjustments need to be made by the Spartans if they want to stay in this contest. Anna Franceschi. Tried to make a move on the outside, it was tapped out. As far as now trying to clear it out, as pressing her head, it bounced off of her, just avoided the handball. And there it's going to be a whistle as getting tripped up hard was Starker. She went flying. We'll see a free kick coming up here in just a minute. And indeed, it's going to be set up just about 10 yards back from the top of the box. A wall of three in front. Kick is kept low, and a swing move right there as Starker round kicks it in. Off the ground, it is now three to nothing. 10.42 has been played. It's the North Shore Conference has uh, quite a few uh, teams that are 
you can call them stacked this year. Whitefish Bay is one. Right now, Grafton is at the top of the conference. And it's fighting for space is Knutson. And there's going to be a foul there whistled against Blifford who knocked Knutson down. Free kick coming up here. Spartan did something. There's the kick. It's going to be picked off and kicked out of bounds by Blifford. But I'm going to say it went off the foot of Moira who was playing defense. Another move here for Whitefish Bay as they're on the attack again. Molly Kuyper thread, trying to thread the needle. She was looking inside for Starker, who was entering the box. Second opportunity right there as Franceschi was coming off the right wing. Murphy around, sends it in. Oh, and it's kicked away. It's Evan Knutson got it away from the box. Here come the Spartans back the other way. Julia Ramstack will come and get it. She's playing in the midfield. She can play defender, but give and go to Pressinger. Passes too far ahead. Whitefish Bay will try to cut it off, trying to keep it alive as Kelsey Waters. Moira sends it out to the left. It's going to be cut off by Emerson McKinney. McKinney's pass up ahead. Starker had it knocked loose, and now Beekler trying to thread it through. Knudsen's going to have to corral it here as we're nearing the end of the 13th minute. Spartans back to the middle third. Beekler plays it to the outside. And Knudsen forces the throw in. Are they saying it's off of the star? Saying it was off of Knudsen. She thought she managed to put it off of Kavanaugh, but they're saying Knudsen touched it last, so Kavanaugh will put it in here as soon as her teammate just finished with tying up her cleats. That was Maggie Starker, and she's going to be the recipient of the throw-in. She gets tripped up, no whistle, and the whistle was late. Trying to make the appeal, Damcott saying that she tripped on the ball as it's sent right toward the box, no waiting. Spartans get it out, but the Blue Dukes keeping the pressure up. Franceschi sends it, and over it goes. It's going to be a corner as tapping it out was Lily Henschel. As we are now 14 minutes in, taking the kick will be Kavanaugh. Knocked around, and the Blue Dukes will maintain control as Kavanaugh gets it. And this side tries to center it, getting a piece of it there with Delaney King. And now putting it forward is Ramstack. It's cut off, but Spartans had some numbers in the middle third, but they couldn't quite clear it through. Kuiper backpedaling. Sends it out to Kavanaugh. And Kavanaugh sends it off of the defender Delaney King. Throw in coming up. Fifteen minutes has been played. Beautiful pass inside. They're taken there by Bella Patzer to find Franceschi, but Franceschi had to play it back, and now the Spartans will kick it out towards the far sideline. Throw in coming up here for the Blue Dukes. Staying with it, Starker, Starker, finally to tackle away. And Knudsen cleared it out of the box. And now Pressinger trying to clear it through the middle, past the Beekler. Beekler trying to stay with it, sends it to the outside. Delaney King now with it. Up the middle, cut off and kicked toward the sideline by Lauren Davis. 
And a sub coming in for the Spartans looks like Sarah Romer. Romer Pavlenik getting a rest. 16 minutes have been played. Kudusa with the throw in. Kavanaugh got a head on it. Whitefish Bay will collect and stand by, and Kavanaugh will send it toward the middle. Running for it is Liz Murphy, her captain's stripe coming off her right arm, but she's still in the game. Misplayed there for a minute by McKinney. She has to play it back. The long chumps. Sends it to the middle of the field. Golden opportunity, but she can get there, but the King was a step too slow as Lauren Davis got there first, but... Knudsen sends it back into the offensive third. Kavanaugh trying to clear it out. Knudsen dueling there with Blifford. And now it's up the way for Spade to clear. Starker sends it forward. Too far for any attackers to get there. And coming out for it is Lily Henschel to grab it. We have a free kick coming up here. That's taking it. And the Spartans have to collect it once again with Lily Henschel, the goalkeeper. Blue Dukes once again getting aggressive right off the attack as Madeline Dom caught. It knocked away and she put it out of bounds. So the Blue Dukes with 18 minutes played with the throw in. Once again, deep in the attacking third. Getting a touch here. This is Sarah Romer. Chance in front and a Barely avoided, as getting low to avoid it was Emma Knutson. And Spartans managed to get across the midfield line, but once again, it's picked up by the midfielders. In this case, it was McKinney who sends it deep. Domcott once again kicks it out of bounds. It'll be a throw in, but uh, two yards shy of the corner on the far sideline. Throw in, and out the top corner of the box, looking for space is Starker. Starker sends it toward the goal, overshoots it. It's still rolling in bounds, might still be playable. And the Blue Dukes will keep it inbounds. For to attack here is Blifford from the left side, centers it for the attackers. And it's pulled out by Starker. She plays it back to Murphy. Murphy miffed it, sends it toward the goal, and her and Henschel is there to pick it up. And she'll put foot to it. Once again, the Blue Dukes managed to come up with it. Spartan slow it down before it reaches. The attacking third, but here comes Starker. She tripped on the ball, falls on it, and finally a whistle was made. It was going to be a handball on her. She really didn't have much of a choice. She fell right on top of it. Knudsen will take the free kick. Low one, getting a touch there was Liz Murphy. Now Starker trying to round the defender. She does. Centers it. Almost handled. Murphy sends 
it across and manages to find the foot of Blifford, who is alone on the weak side. She puts it in. So Blifford puts the goal in as the clock continues to work against the Spartans. And Blue Duke's wasting no time trying to follow it up. Here's Patzer. Patzer sends it across a little too far for her teammate. She overshot Franceschi by a lot. That'll give the Spartans the ball. And the Blue Duke's had to cut off this time. As Pressinger got a piece of it, but they're staying with it. Pavlenik had it deflected. And the Blue Dukes have time. They slow it down for just a moment. Spartans get a break here as it's rolled out of bounds on the far sideline. 22 and a half in. Spartans manage to push it toward the offensive third, but it's collected by the Blue Dukes. Now the Blue Dukes trying to collect themselves and regroup after stopping the momentum, winding up and sending it is Davis up ahead, Bell Patzer. Chance that far inside. Franceschi sent it off of a diving Henschel who's a little slow to get up. It's gonna be free kicked from the corner. And it's going to roll right up to Paulson. Bit of a weak kick there. Kick and picked up by Starker. Collecting it now is Pavlenik. Tackled off of her by Izzy Bartolone. Bartolone now working on the near side. She's cycled right back by Pavlenik, and they're going to get Bartolone for grabbing a hold of Pavlenik's jersey. Twenty-four and a half has been played. Once again, on the offensive here, we're trying to round it out to the far sideline. Here they come one more time. It's going to be sent by Starker and the save by Paulson. She steps back into it, cuts it off, and there's the save. out of bounds. It's going to be a Whitefish Bay throw in. Taking it is Kavanaugh. And Kavanaugh to do it all over again as the high kick is set out of bounds almost the exact same spot. And another throw in coming up as it goes off of Pavlenik's head. Here comes Starker. Starker centers it. It's cut off by the defense of Brianna Deming and it's put right back in for a goal. And the Spartans looking for some answers here, but only able to find any what they need is Bartolone got a piece of it, but it's going to roll out of bounds. I believe it'll be a Spartan throw in. The 
today's Spartan Ball. Throw in, gets a good bounce, but getting there on the foot is Davis. And now we're, here's the reversal. It's Kuiper. Kuiper outruns the defender and Knudsen. Here comes Kuiper down the left side. And good defense played right there by Madeline Demcott to force it to the outside. There'll be a throw-in coming up here for the Blue Dukes. And we have subs coming on. Kelsey Waters coming in for the Spartans. Number 20, Lily Berentz. One of the two reserves coming in as Paulson avoids the shot there. The other sub looks like to be Sophie Luna. And now a chance here for the Spartans back the other way as Delaney King is cut off but forces the throw in as Emma Abrams kicked it out. Burns trying to get something going here as um, Moira got sandwiched up and the ball was kicked out of, out of bounds as Knudsen will put it in. And Bartolone facing Knudsen and Knudsen appealing that she sent it off of Bartolone. She's not going to get that call. We have another sub coming out. It's like Kavanaugh's coming off and coming in. And it's like Abby Yar Yarbro. Breaks one attacker, sends it to the middle. And defensively cut off there by Abrams. And Spartan staying with it in the middle third. Sent through by Kayla Beekler. Lily Berent got to it. And the Blue Dukes trying to force it back the other way. Keeping it away from the center was Adam Cott. That's going to be a throw in for the Blue Dukes. Half an hour has been played in official time. <laughs> it's played all the way back to Lena de Longchamps. And now spreading the field are the Blue Dukes. McKinney cuts it away to Bartolone. Bartolone with Knudsen hot on her heels, kicks it into the offensive third. Damcott got there first. Bartolone slowed it down but tripped on it. Gets a little help from her teammates as here's McKinney with it now. McKinney plays it out to Bartolone on the wing. Bartolone, around one attacker, stays with it. Centers, and an easy kick in there for Sophie Luna. And the Blue Dukes. Once again, taking it away in the middle third as Luna with it. Nice move by Luna. And the thing, she came off the bench earlier today. She wasn't even in the start, the starting lineup. She keeps it in, in play right in the corner. Here's a little centering pass. It's a bit of a bouncer, and it's collected by Moira, who clears it out toward the middle third. Up top, Caroline Davis had it turned away. Spartans do manage to push it out. And 
nice move there by Bartolone. Bartolone sends it toward the goal, and Paulson nicely puts it down and gets it away. Budux once again in possession now after it crosses the midfield line. Abrams trips up with Spartan and stays with it. Now trying to get it away there. This is Beekler. Beekler header pass intercepted. And a whistle going against Whitefish Bay. Spartans are forced to play it back after the free kick. Knudsen up ahead. Moimer tries to play it out to Knudsen. Off the back heel of Bartolone and stays with it. Knudsen up ahead. Now a chance for a clear for by Whitefish Bay. Kept alive by pressing her for the Spartans. She bumps into Luna and stays with it. Cuts it across. Once again, just a good backline play here by the Blue Dukes. And it's kicked loose there by right, Tori Kippeson. We have some back and forth ping ponging here in the middle third. Throw in has been ruled in favor of the Spartans. Another one as they manage to advance a little bit. Again, good backline play here by the Blue Dukes. 35 minutes have been played. It's played to the outside now, and Davis puts it toward the center to Luna. Luna having to backtrack a little bit. Looks across, finds Abrams. Abrams, long pass, ricochets off a foot or two. It rolls all the way through. Elena Rojas looking for it. As we near near the end of the 36th minute, chance here for Bartolone, and Paulson goes into a kneeling save. Nice move there by Cameron Paulson. And Spartans tries to try and get the clear out. Come to Spartans with Ramstack trying to spearhead an attack here. She had a center there to Moira. It was tackled off of her. And the Blue Duke's trying to reverse as it's going to be kicked back the other way by Barent. And it's going to be a throw in on that far sideline. Uh, quick ricochet on the other side. Now the throw in will go the opposite direction. As here come the Blue Dukes back the other way. Pass up ahead to Bartolone. Gets to the top of the box. One defender to beat, but Paulson reads it and gets there first. Bartolone was perfectly positioned to do something with that play, but Paulson managed to read it in time. <coughs> Is now trying to push it back. The other way is <coughs> McKinney. And 
Our sub coming in is going to be Moira Ortlieb. Coming into contest. And Caroline Davis returns for the Blue Dukes. Bartolone, nice move with the bear. Center ring pass, and it's going to be kicked away. And charging in was Moira Orton, was Caroline Davis. They got it with the wrong foot, sent it out of bounds. Goal kick coming up. 38 and a half minutes have been played. And a nice look once again. Elena Rojas had a look at it. Excellent passing here by the Blue Dukes early and often. Throw in for the Blue Dukes. Once again, aggressing. Centering pass to Pressinger. Now Bartolone with a chance on the outside, who has a cut back. Puts across, finds Davis. Davis plays it to the outside, it's gonna be centered. Let's see the throw one coming here for the Blue Dukes. Bartolone, good tackle there by Knudsen, breaks it loose. Sends it up ahead, but it is cut off. Well done by Davis. Spartans with Pressinger now with it, trapped in the middle third, trying to clear it out. We have less than five minutes to go in this first half. The scoring has been all White Whitefish Bay. Blue Dukes trying to clear out through the middle third. They're going to reverse it to the other side. Bartolone keeps it in play, sends it up ahead. Overshot Luna. Knudsen trying to center here. Broken loose by Tori Kubison. Kubison had it deflected away. Bartolone tries to center. Emerson McKinney. And sent into the stands by Knudsen. Uh, subs being made by Whitefish Bay. Entering in number 25, Emma Adeo. And 19, Emma Werzer. Throw in here for the Blue Dukes as we end the 42nd minute. Emma Werzer trying to get a touch here. Centering pass to the middle. Tap out of the box. Trying to keep it going there was Barent. Chance in front and not enough space for Emma Adeo to make a play. And we have a whistle, looks like a corner is being signaled. I'm going to go take it is Caroline Davis. There's the kick and off the head of Larson out into open field, but the Blue Dukes once again secure it. 
About two minutes to go in the half. And we have a goal from way outside. I believe that was Emma Adeo from way outside on the other side. And like that, it's 7 nothing, and the Blue Dukes firmly in control of this contest as we have a minute 15 remaining. As the Spartans trying to keep it back. And here come the Blue Dukes one more time. Less than one minute remaining. Less than a minute to go. It's going to be cut off by Paulson. Blue Duke's still getting aggressive. Send back into the middle third. Katie Graham will go to get it. And now the Spartans trying to push. Going toward the near sideline and unable to keep it in play is Brenna Wells. Going for the Spartans, 13 seconds remaining. They want something, they gotta get it in. Nine. Eight seconds now. Seven, six. Trying to round up five, is Moira. Four, Looking for space, four seconds. Three, Sends a center ring pass to the front and the long shaft cuts it off and that will be the first half. So the Blue Dukes established dominance early and often. They lead 7-0 going into halftime. You are watching Girls Soccer on West Bend Community TV. And the second half begins as the Blue Dukes leading the West Bend West Spartans by a score of 7-0 and keeping a lot of the Reserves in as Emma Adeo trying to round it out and sends it off of the defender, Romy Pavlenik. So we'll have a corner kick, it looks like, coming up here in just a second. Looks like Luna's going to take it. And it's a line drive, takes a bounce outside the box. The Blue Dukes will manage to keep control of it. Adeo has a pass deflected toward the top of the box, fighting for space on top of it. That's Caroline Davis, and a wind up and a sent by Rojas is wide left. A minute has been played of the half. And it looks like Lily Henschel has returned to goal after a pretty nasty collision back in the first half. Goal kick is captured once again by the Blue Dukes. Trying to send to the other side, sent to the middle, Wurzer. Had to play it back, sent into the, the box. It's gonna be picked up by Henschel. Now here's a chance for the Blue Dukes taking it on the far sideline. Sending it through Wurzer, manages to push it into the offensive third. We're going to have an offside call. And it's like on this near sideline. Emma Adeo jumped the gun. Chance to switch sides for the Blue Dukes. Getting there and kicking it away is Pavlenik deep into the offensive third. It's going to roll out of bounds. I believe it's going to be a throw in now for the Blue Dukes. Wurzer 
And it's going to be kicked out of bounds by Damcott. Thrown in and a chance here for Adeo. Adeo gets a break to the corner of the box, tries to center it, sends it off of a defender, and it's going to be picked up by Henschel. Werzer sends it to the far side for Rojas. Henschel performing admirably yet again. There's the kick. Corner kick has been forced. <laughs> Corner kick coming for the Blue Dukes. And the high one's kicked out. Hurst will come and get it. Another try. It's going to be wide right from way outside there. As we are four minutes and 45 seconds into the new half, no new score here as the Blue Dukes playing a lot of their reserves. Luke's managing to trap it in the, their backfield as Barrent tries to thread the needle. Connects with Kubison. Here's Werzer. Kubison trying to keep the issue going here. Comes right up the middle. Kubison in the area. Had a pass deflected. Second opportunity. Diving! Saved by Henschel. Saving the pass off of, say, the shot off of Davis. Davis trying again here. Left foot, it's going to be very wide. And out of bounds, goal kick coming up. One thing you have to give the Blue Dukes is their depth of their roster. These are a lot of these young ladies have come off the bench here today. Adeo, trying to keep it in play. Didn't get there in time. It's going to be a throw in here now for the Blue Dukes. Brent puts it in. Adeo centers it. Up the middle comes Kubison. To the outside. High one, Wurzer underneath it. Oh, bounce off her back shin, out the back of her shin. Running to the outside, Kubison trying to keep it alive. She has to play it back. Brianna Wells had it kicked away. It's going to be out of bounds. It's going to be a throw in for the Blue Dukes. You got a few uh, near calls here. throw in here in a moment. 52 and a half have been played in the entire match. Is the Blue Dukes keeping the attack on here? Spartans have not had a good look at the goal since the first half. Try and change that. The Blue Dukes are going to reverse to the other side. Ramsek cuts it off and sends it toward the midfield. Kubiston goes back to grab it. Ball. 
Barrent. Up ahead, almost a handball there as it bounced up on Rojas, but she managed to just avoid it. Up ahead to Adeo. Adeo was cut off by Pavlenik. Sent out of bounds. Throw one coming up here for the Blue Dukes. Here's the throw in. Chance in front, getting bumped on the shot was Rojas. It's going to be scooped up by Henschel. Adeo, nice move to the outside, cuts it back. Pass was cut off. Davis trying to round the defender, had it not loose. Dave's going to try to keep it in play, gets there just in time. She has to play it back, but. He goes out of bounds in the best position here for the Spartans in the second half. I'll have a throw in here in just a moment. Pavlenik gets it in. And sending it away is Adeo. Elena Rojas trying to fight with it. Beekler, pursued by Rojas, has to play it across. Moira, up ahead. And here come the Blue Dukes once again. Davis plays it the outside. Davis has to get it back. Here's the reversal to Wurzer. Played back a little too far. Ramsek had it cut off for a second, but the Blue Duke's still fighting hard for it. And there's a roll out to the outside, trying to keep it in play and getting there in time is Barrent. Davis plays it across, looking for Kubison. McKinney, who's been still in the back line for the majority of the game. Davis plays it into Wurzer. Wurzer had it knocked away. And Wurzer, nice play in the middle, gets bumped, stays with it. Wurzer still fighting, goes for the shot. That save made there by oh, Henschel. And another save by Henschel. Henschel stands her ground. And we'll have a goal kick coming up. Give Lily Henschel the Perseverance Award. She was taken out of the game, for those of you who joined us late, after colliding with an attacker. She came back in to start the second half, and right there, showing she hasn't lost a step in the box, but she is still under constant assault here. Here's a Deo trying to find a shot. Has to retrap it. And Madeline Damcott fighting for space, had a knocked out of bounds throw in. Coming up, 57 minutes have been played in this contest. And some tough playing. It's getting chippy out there as Kate Graham forces it through. Here's Wurzer trying to come down to it. Adeo gets the deflected pass on the near side. Adeo tries to ride it along the line. It's out of bounds. I believe it's going to be a goal kick as the Spartans will retain possession now.
And now the Spartans moving the ball forward, sending to the far side. Getting there first will be Emerson McKinney. Um, the Blue Duke sends it forward. Chance in front, McKinney gets there first, kicks it to the outside, it's gonna roll out of bounds. Trying to get there in time! Just not enough. Actually, she, then there's the whistle finally a bit late as Emma Adeo chased it down and tried to keep it in play. I thought for a minute they were gonna let her get away with it, but then the late whistle came. Persinger, still with it. Persinger goes down and the Spartans will get a throw in on the near sideline. Now here comes the counter by the Blue Dukes after spending some time on the defensive. As we near the 60th minute's end, it's going to be a throw in here for the Spartans in just a moment. Burns getting the ball advanced, but they're trying having trouble getting inside the box right now as Persinger trying to corral it. And here comes the counter as the Blue Dukes are on the move. It's sent forward. Chance up front. And it's gonna be a tie up there. And it's gonna be a wide shot taken by Caitlin McLaughlin, who had a good look there, but had a defender catch up to her and Madeline Dom caught the slower down just enough. 61 minutes have been played. Now the Spartans trying to make do with what they have as the Ludukes play it back. Once again, managed to slow the ball down just before the box, and now they're trying to clear it out, but the Spartans get another chance at it. 62 minutes have been completed. Oh. This one's going to be sent out of bounds. As the Spartans continue to try to find that first clear look at the goal. Here come the Blue Dukes one more time, getting it to the middle third. Play up front, it's gonna be cut off by Poblenik. Werzer trying to push it through. She has a look now on that far sideline. She has two teammates heading for the box. She has a chance to center her. She can be the defender. Sends it toward the goal, but Henschel is there to pick it up. And 
getting forward there was Julia Ramstack, but once again, the numbers of the Lou Dukes were a bit much as Bicor has to play it back. And it's going to go off the head of Adeo, a throw in coming up here for the Spartans. And had a mad collision there, and going down is Kayla Beekler, and she's grabbing at her right ankle. And finally, we get a whistle. Taking it will be Rami Pavlenik. Pavlenik puts it in, looking for pressing her, pressing her to play that. Pavlenik sends it out of bounds. It'll be a throw in for the Blue Dukes. Some subs coming in, coming off the pitch are Tori Kubison and Carolyn Davis. Coming back in are Izzy Batalone and Sophie Lund, Luna. As the Blue Dukes will get another throw in. Chance in front for the Blue Dukes. There's another save there by Henschel of Elena Rojas. Here comes Werzer at the top of the box, winds up, fires, it's going to be wide left. One more time as Rojas tries to center it, finds Luna. Luna coming up the middle, has some space. Luna winds up, fires, and Henschel is there for another save. Ball is put forward, going back to get it. There's Emma McKinney, the Experienced player anchoring the back line as the Longchamps gets it out. Just keeping it in play was Sophia Bliffert up ahead. Here's Luna. Luna has some space to work on her tail is Romy Pavlenik. Luna centers it and a save made by Henschel denying Caitlin McLaughlin. And Lily Henschel's going to have a highlight reel after this game. Here's the throw in. Here comes pressing her back the other way. Knifefish Bay tears it loose, and here comes Rojas one more time, sends it up ahead. Henschel has to come out to grab it. Pass up ahead there by but the. But the lawn, eh? But the line staying with it. Nice. Good job, Arabella. Blifford from the right side centers it. No one's there to get it. But the lawn, eh? Sends it toward the end line. Kept in play. Henschel, another save. And there's the offside call. And 
physical play out there, but and there's going to be a call against Kelsey Waters for a push in the back. Taking the kick is Elena Rojas. Rojas sends it. Rojas keeps it live. Luna cuts it back, trying to look inside the Blifford. And another chuck up another save there for Henschel. Kick is high, there's a bounce. And the Blue Dukes are retained possession. push it down yet again as we've played 70 minutes of soccer Ludix is leading 7 nothing. Move there by Blifford, has some space on the right. So the throw the goal, save made by Henschel yet again. It's going to be a corner kick here for the Blue Dukes. To be headed out of the box. Blue Dukes will a try from that far side yet again. Sent toward the box and once again headed out. Oh, and a big collision there. And no whistle on it. And Finally, the whistle's blown. So the Blue Dukes have been firmly in control of this half. They've not scored as much, but it's mostly just been keeping the ball on their side of the pitch. This is sent in so far back that Emerson McKinney needs to go back to get it. The Blue Dukes managed to get it back to their middle third. Here's the send. It's going to be cut off by Pavlik. Pavlik didn't get it very far, slowing it down yet again. This time is Madeline Damcott. Keeps it away from Blifford, but it'll be a throw in for the Blue Dukes. Nice pass up the middle, looking right for McLaughlin. McLaughlin had it deflected, and it's going to be knocked wide left. As the Blue Dukes doing all their scoring in the first half, they've come up dry here, but they've done more than enough to stay safe for the moment. It's 7 nothing. Safe to say this contest is more or less... Just waiting for it to become official at this stage. As we have 16 and a half minutes until the game expires. 
Luna knocks down the goal kick. Centering pass. Rojas keeps it going. Pressing her. Sends it to the middle. Waiting for the throw in here. And the throw in will stay with West Bend West. There's the throw in. Burns trying to get at least something out of this before the game comes to an end. A chance in front, but the long champs cuts it off. Looks on the defensive, but an errant pass to the midfield. As we send toward the boxes, it's going to be cut off by McKinney. Wells trying to get it out. Just keeps it in play. There's the send toward the midfield. And here comes the reversal, and it's going to be sent forward. <laughs> Luna to Batalone. Right back to Luna in the give and go. Here comes Luna through traffic. Winds up, her shot's deflected toward the end line. We have a corner coming up on the near side as more substitutions come in. Rojas will take the kick. I think they're going to play it short as Luna comes up. Defender coming out. 13 minutes to go. And there's the kick, and it's going to go off the midsection of Katie Hurst. Goal kick coming up here for the Spartans. It looks like they'll drop to 0-6 and 2 on the season. We throw in for the Spartans on the other side here as we are now. 78 minutes into the contest. Spartans looking for a chance at the net.
Might as well be a Spartan throw in here on that far sideline. Singer loops it toward the net, and it was open there, but it just piled past Ramstack. And Wurzer will send it out of bounds on the near sideline. And McKinney will send it up ahead as the Blue Dukes trying to clear it out. Uh, but the Spartans get aggressive with defense and slow it down. And there's the kick. Comes the throw in. Here come the Blue Dukes once again as we have 10 minutes left in the contest. But Deloney sends it up ahead. Getting it there is Adeo. Adeo slowed down from behind by Domkot. Rojas centers it, sent in. Here's Luna with a chance. Luna, and it just misses the upper corner. Here comes the kick. Wurzer centers. Adeo tries to hip it in. Here's Wurzer with a chance, and she finds the, the far corner as we enter the 82nd minute, and it is 8 to nothing. And the Spartans will take the kickoff here and try for the next few minutes to try to get something out of this. But now, once again, the Spartans, pretty good reversal, but good back line play by McKinney. Sends it toward the goal. It's going to sail over. It's going to be a goal kick coming up here. Eight minutes to go in the contest. So Whitefish Bay will be 6-0-2 oh, at the end of this contest. Nice to kick. And the Spartans managed to cut it off that time by Pavlenik. Luna for the Blue Dukes. Plays it back. And we have a deflected shot there, and it's going to go between the legs of Lily Barrent. Julia Ramstack. Tangling with Barrent. Barrent will send it up ahead. Blifford. With the dribbling, gets it forward. Nice. 
Wurz was looking for a second shot there, had it denied. Here's Rojas, tries to tap it to the top of the box, but it's going to be cleared away by the Spartans. Six minutes to go in the contest. And it's kicked out. It'll be a throw-in for the Spartans on this near sideline. Here's the throw-in. Wells for the Blue Duke sends it past midfield. And as things get tangled up there, and there's going to be a whistle against the Blue Dukes. Eighty-five minutes have been played. Right now, the kick coming from Knutson. Chance up front is going to bounce into the waiting arms. The long chumps. He's going to give a bit of a swib kick. Play the head to words if she can keep it in play. She gets there. Wurzer has it played off her by Pavlenek. Inside of four minutes left. of the 88th minute, 87th minute, excuse me, as the Blue Dukes go back on the offensive. Slowed down by Domkot. have been controlling the pace of the competition from the, for the, the entirety of the match here today. They've kept the ball on the right side of the pitch as you're watching here, which is exactly what they need to do with a seven-goal lead, now up 8-0. Chance in front, but it looks like Henschel will cut it off. Inside of two minutes now. So the Spartans will still be looking for that elusive first win. As Wenzel lets it go out of bounds.
So the Blue Dukes will get one more swing at this as here comes the throw in. Blifford could not get there first as one minute, one minute, minute remains in the competition. I want to thank my cameraman Tom Stomp for sticking with me through the contest and everyone else at the West Bend Community TV station. As Luna fights for position, staying with it. The Dukes with one more run with if left in them at this stage. 30 seconds remaining. It's going to be kicked toward the midfield. Chance up for, for Kelsey Waters is denied. 15 seconds now. 10, 9. As the seconds eight, count down. Seven. Dilly Ramstack is going to be cut off here, so that'll be the contest. The Two, final score one. of this broadcast of this match is the Whitefish Bay Blue Dukes eight, the West Bend West Spartans zero. Thanks everyone for watching, and stay tuned for more spring sports coming up very shortly in the near future. This has been a presentation of High School Athletics on West Bend Community TV.